But yesterday, uh, we all lost a friend, we all lost a hero. Um, I guess he'll always be with us for sure, but Mr. Bill Keith passed away. Uh, he's a friend of many and a musical hero to all of us and a lot of other banjo players. And uh, I think we got a couple of tunes associated with him for it. Mike, what's, what's on deck first? Well, most of us play, well, I don't know if you play banjo, Danny, I don't think you do. Maybe one tune on the banjo. Well, the first time, I, you know, I was a teenager and I was learning how to play the banjo and I just thought I was going to be a banjo player one day. I was like really determined. And, uh, I heard this really incredible recording of a couple of different tunes, one of them being Devil's Dream, and uh, I just really had to learn that kind of sound or something, and uh, come to be, it was Bill Keith, and uh, I think you said that was probably before you learned a forward role in the band today, he says, I, I, was, I was learning, working on that tune, another Bill Keith deal, and, and I'm not sure about Mike, but um, I'm, I'm just not sure about Mike, that's right. <laughs> well, there's no question that Bill uh, was probably about the second most influential uh, musician on a five-string banjo in the 20th century next to Earl Scruggs and really changed the course of uh, the history for, of the five-string banjo with a, a, a new style, um, a chordal style, but a, particularly the, a, a melodic style that was being developed in the 50s, but he really brought it to the forefront for sure and brought a lot of great music. and. Um, it, it just absolutely monumental historic proportions in the world of five string banjos is, is, is the influence this guy has had. And I and also remember hearing tunes like Nola, which was like an incredible piece of music. Caravan, that's a tune that came out on one of his later albums. But we're going to play um, a little bit Old Lang Syne featuring some of Bill's invention, the Keith Tuner. <laughs> Scruggs' idea, actually. To, to detune within the middle of a tune, but uh, Bill devised tuning pegs to be able to do that, to make that happen. And, uh, and we're gonna finish that up with a little medley of Devil's Dream and, and Sailor's Hornpipe. And these are the tunes that Bill, I believe, won the Philadelphia Folk Festival banjo competition in either 61 or 62. And played um, these tunes a lot with Bill Monroe when he was touring with Bill Monroe in '63. So tribute to Bill. Thanks, Bill, for everything.
makes a wonderful banjo tune. Yeah. It's a banjo tune with a whole lot of tuning, right? We could spend many hours talking about stories, just to the four of us with Bill, not to mention all the other musicians that played and hang, hung with them. But briefly, in 2009, I was 19 years old, and we were at the River City Bluegrass Festival in Portland, Oregon. He flew all the way from Albany to Portland and uh, played with a Jim Quest and Jug Band reunion. And uh, I got a call on my cell phone at about, I don't know, it's about 10 o'clock Pacific time, so it was about 1 o'clock here you know, at night. And it was Bill. This was about six months after I'd met him at a banjo camp. And he said, hey, Chris, I'm coming to play uh, this festival in Portland. I don't know anybody in the Northwest except for you. Would you like to just get a free ticket under my name or whatnot? I said, sure, why not? And uh, got to spend some time talking stories and getting some great insight on music from him there. But the best part was getting to play. They needed me to, to show off a raffle banjo on stage between some of the big acts. And uh, I don't know if Allison Krauss was going to play or whatnot. But right before the final act of the festival, I played this raffle banjo. And I, I, I asked Bill if he'd play Old Lang Syne duet banjo with me to show off that banjo. So we did that. And that's something I get to remember for the rest of my life, playing that tune with him then in 2009. So I'm glad we just did that tune. We'll try this little medley here that uh, Bill Keith brought to the uh, bluegrass banjo vocabulary, a melodic uh, medley of fiddle tunes, Devil's Dream, Sailor's Hornpipe.
All right, folks, stick around. We're going to take a short break. Thank you, Bill Keith. this moment in time pass by. I know I do this for myself, but I think I do this for all of you. I'd like to have a moment of silence for Bill Keith. Do everything, turn, turn, turn. Time to laugh and a time to cry. A time to live and a time to die. Bill Keith was a friend of ours in the HPBA. He was here at the very beginning when we started up and having somebody with that much weight come and participate in the jams was one of the, one of the drivers of the early HPBA. And over the years, he, uh, when he could, he uh, came to help us out. We've been running a <clears throat> course on bluegrass through Nearest College. And Bill was there helping out to teach about the banjo. We ran an, um, a program, Bluegrass in the Schools, and Bill would come out and help us teach uh, about the banjo to some young kids. He really helped us out. He was a, a great influence to all of us, and I know I don't speak just for myself, but I'm saying thank you, Bill. You're a wonderful person. <laughs> 